Wet is a 1970s action pack. Gruesome. Frantic. Shocking. Exhilarating. Exciting. Drive-in action kung fu theater spaghetti western. Ruby is wet. It's like really pretty sick and sexy and crazy equation. You get it and you want more. I'm Eliza Dushku and I play Ruby Malone. From the first time we got together, we felt it. It's rock and roll. As it sort of started to get sicker and deeper. You want a piece of me? It was just really organic. From the beginning, it was going to be a gritty 70s Tarantino feel. My name is Duffy Demetrius. I am the writer of WET. I come from a television writing background. I started on 24 on their second season. My influences were Dirty Harry and Charles Bronson, 70s action movies. Here we go. In terms of reference, you know, we, we often talked about like the, the, the Crazy 88 sequence and Kill Bill. Could we replicate the energy and the rhythm of a fight like that? The aesthetic of the game is really this kind of grimy, 70s-esque experience. It's a summer action flick. It has this unique retro film inspired sort of grainy look to it. You meet some really over the top characters that have some ridiculous dialogue. This is better. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. It's a wet dream. Really fun sense of humor and this badass hair. The game is called Wet because it's like a derivative of Wet Works, which means undercover missions that involve messiness, blood, getting your hands wet with blood. That's what Ruby is, a hitman, problem fixer. The price is right, she will kill, slash, gun down anyone she needs to. Great. There are moments in the game where actually like she gets some blood sprayed on her. It's all very cheesy and funny, and uh, and yet it's not, because the, the whole game is about that ironic mix of violence and humor. Ugh. There's a sort of wit and fun vibe, which is mixed in as well, which is sort of twisted. But that's why everyone loves that Tarantino feel. Where are you, freak? Wet is an immersive grindhouse cinematic experience. It's offbeat, and it's fresh. Hello. It's really fun while it lasts, and it doesn't try to be anything that it's not. You get to be in a 70s B-movie exploitation film, and you get to make it as cool as possible. It's a twisted and up ride.